Today I am going to talk about how can I improve the Herobot Swish. This is an upgraded version of Swish, and today I am going to introduce you to all the differences between them. First, we'll start from the base. We found a few problems about the Swish base, so we made these improvements. First, we found that the Swish base was too slow, so we made a 3 times acceleration on the front wheel by make, connecting a 36 tooth gear to a 12 tooth gear. Then we made a chain that connects the front and back wheels because we found that when we're trying to walk forward, it might slip on, on the sideways. This chain can help sync the movements of the wheels and preventing it from slipping. Finally, we made this back of the robot to fit snugly onto the goal wall because we found that when we're driving the hero bot, it sometimes is hard to aim. So using this, we can aim easily when we're going back to throw the ball. Then we'll talk about the roller. We first added these two small flaps in the front and they're used to collect balls from a more wider range. We also added this five times acceleration and another motor, and they are used to make the torque and speed of the roller bigger. We also added these two beams on the sides because we found that the balls can get stuck under the roller when it is intaking. And with, with these beams, it will not get stuck there. For here, we also change it a bit, so when it is intaking, it will be more stable on the base. Finally, we added these two boards, so when our teammates are passing to us, the ball will not fall out of the sides. And finally, it is for the catapult. The catapult also has a few changes. For example, here, the spool was changed into four standoffs, and so the standoffs have a longer the circumference, so the whole catapult can lower faster. Here, it was what's used to connect the thread onto the beam, but now we change it into a corner connector, and so a ball can be placed here and thrown into the lower goal at the start of the game. Then here, this beam is used to connect the these two beams and therefore securing them and making sure it will not get broken when shooting. Finally, we have three pins over here that can be easily changed positions. So when we are trying to um, change the position of the rubber bands, it can be easily changed. This is all that I wanted to say, so thank you for watching.